This is episode four, teaching some charge spots, working on the Nepal map, starting with the Sanctum. Right out of Ryan spawn, I'll teach you a way to chase down Mercy's up there. You ju double jump onto this wall here, just standing toward the center of the wall section, and you're gonna charge mid-air, you're gonna hit double jump, and that'll send you up and chase him down a little bit. Alternatively, you can stand over here, about the same distance, line up the charge, double jump at the last moment there, and chase him down that way. Uh, there's a, a charge spot here that's obsolete, but I'll teach you it, it anyway. And all you do is stand on this wall toward the back, and aim at this knob here. It'll send you up. Uh, I say it's obsolete because a lot of the movement slash jump tech, whatever you'd like to call it, you can just jump off these statues or the, the knobs around the map and get a lot of altitude that way and just move around the map much more smoothly. And the uh, same thing on the other side. Let me head over there. And same with this one. Nepal Sanctum is a little bit lackluster for the charge spots, but uh, yeah, let's move on to the shrine. Here on Nepal Shrine, we got a lot of really good charge spots. We got the same one that's on Nepal Sanctum. You just double jump the second you're close to the statue, standing on the middle section of this wall. But uh, alternatively, you can come over to this bridge, charge off of here onto this rooftop and do a combo charge onto this rooftop, having a lot better momentum, and you will also have your double jump to stay up here longer. Uh, you can also use this charge spot to chase down the mercies that are up here. Uh, I should mention that on occasion, this charge spot will fail. Let me see if I can replicate that. Nope. Uh, it just, for some reason sends you down and you face plant against there. It's very strange. This next charge spot I would recommend uh, only charging off of this rail. If you charge off of these, they break and you fall down unless you double jump. Then you do make the charge, but uh, yeah, much better to just stand on here and charge. Uh, this rooftop over here is extremely good. You can charge it from basically any anywhere, any angle, and uh, it works very well. Uh, I should also mention you can stand on these walls here, charge, and double jump to make it onto this rooftop, which is a really simple, really fast way to start the round. Or of course, like on many maps, you can just charge and super jump and make it across the entire map. Uh, all these charge spots that I showed already are mirrored. I'll show you this as an example. Uh, Mercies do like to hang out right there and hide. There's a spot they can sit there and uh, they can also sit up there so you can charge here and get up here to kill them. Uh, another really good charge spot I like to do is uh, I get rid of my momentum against this pillar here and then I land on these rooftops I try to keep my momentum around the corners and uh, that that does take a lot of practice but uh, you're able to chase down the mercies that are up here uh, much better that way and then use double jump once you see things going wrong just for fun, there's a charge spot that you can do another roller, roller coaster, just like I showed on uh, uh, Ilios Well. You just have the Mercy stand basically where my spray is, maybe a little bit over here. Yeah, right there should be good. Um, and then you just charge across, you pick them up, and then you turn. As long as you don't hit anything, the Mercy won't die. It's pretty fun. You can do the same thing on this side, having the Mercy stand around there.
here in the middle we have another charge spot uh you stand here against this uh second level here not the top one next to the elephant but below it and you have your back against it and you aim for the middle of this and uh if you do it just right you can get onto these rooftops and chase down some mercies Another part of the middle section of the map here, you can charge against this rooftop. You can actually charge it from many angles and get uh, thrown up into the sky very easily. You can also charge across these boards and onto the statue here, just double jump midair. And that will work on both sides. There's some movement tech I wanted to teach you. You can jump off these statues to gain momentum upward and double jump onto the rooftops. If you do it well enough, you can jump onto this pillar without double jump. That's it for Nepal Shrine. Let's move on to Nepal Village. Here on my favorite map, teaching a lot of really good charge spots. We're starting here looking at the right side of these rocks. And that'll send your character to the sky. Let me get down here quick. If you're looking to the left too far or to the right to at some extreme angle, it's going to stop you. But it's quite a forgiving charge spot nowadays. Blizzard likes to change the textures of these maps and it does affect some charge spots sometimes. Uh, this next charge spot, you're wanting to just turn along the rooftops. Uh, let me head back and show you the next part of it. You're just aiming toward the right and then turning to the left. Sometimes it'll draw you up like that. Um, most of the time, you're just going to glide along. Though. And in the middle, we have these rails to clear out. And I'll explain that you need to be looking at this face, not this face. And uh, looking at that square. Standing inside this corner. Since we're on this side, we're on this corner. And if you look at that square perfectly, it's going to work every single time. Same with this side. You're looking at the left hand face of that pillar and we're aiming at the bell here for this charge spot it's all dependent on your aim for these to be consistent and just make sure you're standing in the right corner of course for this next charge spot just make sure your character is going to be going up the incline And one more example here. And this stone pillar is mirrored on both sides. Uh, you just need to aim a little bit more to the left on this side to make it across the roofs. Just like on Nepal Sanctum and Shrine, you can do a charge against this. It's a little bit different though since the there's less room here, so you have to spam the double jump. That was on purpose. So it's actually quite a bit more difficult if uh, you can't time the double jump. Much easier to go up here to chase down the mercies. As I started to briefly mention earlier, Blizzard does change their map textures and it will affect where the characters can stand including where Mercy can stand on some of the maps. She can't stand on the ledges where she used to be able to. And for this charge spot, it hardly ever works, but it can work if you're charging and turning into it. And it increases even more if you're double jumping while crossing the gap here. I'll show you some examples of it working and on the mirror version of this charge. 
sing 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 Moving on to the next charge spot, you can just jump across and charge at the same time. Works on both sides. Have another charge spot here, works on both sides of the map. You're just standing on these rocks here and charging onto the rooftop. Let me go to the other side. Sometimes it's smooth, but uh, most of the time it'll bump you up rather than uh, launching you up like that. This is another mirrored charge spot. It works on both sides of the map. You can just charge here and double jump midair. Have another charge spot here on Mercy side. Just charging uh, in this general location and aiming at the point here in the snow. Technically there's a charge spot here. Uh, I haven't done it in a long time because it's really inconsistent and just hardly works, but uh, decided I'd teach it anyway. Hopefully this was helpful to some people. Thank you for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.